Oh shoot! My goodness! I just get so scared are you? I literally walking literally walking up here to go fishing and I hear growling and I don't know why the first thing I think in my mind is a bear like we get bears on St. Croix <laughs> I hear growling and I just see this pit bull just come out of this little hole over here it's so skinny man I want to rescue it so bad we're gonna see we're gonna see how it go if it let me touch it I might rescue it so I spent so much time looking for the dog on the rocks I see it went around one corner and then it came back and then I threw some fish for it but then it just disappeared out of nowhere so then I started to cast my line but the crabs just eat up my bait so I had to move to the next spot so I know right here it probably looked like I was cast into the heavens but it had a lot of wind blowing in my face so I had to launch it out there real hard Out here on these rocks really really slippery so you don't have to really watch where you walk in and it's really hard to get your foot in and whenever you catch a fish it's so hard to land it out there i just try my best to not fall in the water and to keep my balance balance is really important when you're out here fishing on these type of rocks Ooh. balance Ooh. Uh-huh, let's go guys. Fish just jump out the water. Oh a baby shark. Little black tip. No, just bust off. Ugh. As I get a net, that's crazy. I was not prepared to catch a shark. Got on my hook. So now I'm missing this hook. Oh man. Ah, with this specific rod, it used to catch all the fish But I know sooner or later this was going to happen Because it was just old man and it was done falling apart Oh man As you can see I have a whole bunch of seaweed I'm not sure if I can catch anything but this is the last place I'm going to be for today So I'll just wait and see if anything come and eat my bait I cast it out, come back over here. Damn, I could don't feel that seaweed, that's crazy. Loosen up my drag. Just leave it in a rod holder. At this point, I thought I had a fish, but the seaweed was just pulling my line and scratching it up, chafing it up. And I was like, man, I gotta do something. So I moved the rod holder closer to the shoreline so when I put my line tight it don't rest down in the seaweed and get dragged seaweed is the worst I was already saying to myself dude all you gonna catch out here is a whole bunch of seaweed and nothing so after catching all the seaweed and untangling it from my line I just went and rebate and cast it back out there and I was like if I don't catch nothing on this car, I'm going home for sure. The only reason I set the hook so hard like that is because it was in the seaweed and I feel the fish was biting it. so. I had to get through the seaweed and to the fish and then as I was fighting the fish I still had to pull it through all the seaweed and it was just heavy on the line for no reason I 
Finally get one, sir. I forget what you call these, but they taste good when you fry them up. I don't think it's a pamper, no. I forget what else you call them. Something else. By then, retie and cast it out again. I will record it again when the rod go off. So I could see from a distance I had a fish on my line from the rod tip, but I know it was a small fish. So I just went to check out and see what it was. It was a little yellow tail snapper. And they just swim in school, so when you catch one, you can catch like a million of them. That was a little yellow tail snapper. I think I may have one on the next little yellow tail. I catch in fish and seaweed at the same time, so even though the fish is small, the seaweed kind of making it heavy on the line, so I have to reel it hard and kind of lift it up higher over the rest of the seaweed that float in there too. When you catch one baby yellow tail, you catch a million of them. It's so annoying. So right here, I had to rub the sand on my hand to get off the fish slime. Bird, I don't know if you can see it, but that bird right there just swooped down. I eat the little fish out the water that I just threw back in. That's so crazy. Wow. That's crazy. So while I was down there, I meet a couple subscribers. So shout out to you for watching the videos and thanks for the support. I could see. I could see. I could see. All right guys, so here I have a palometa. It's basically a type of pompano. It's like the only fish I catch for the day. I gonna show you how I clean it and cook it. Okay, so with these fish, the first thing you want to do is wash it off because they're really, really slimy. Then, since it's not too big, I'm going to eat it whole. Technical difficulties. Alright, so, I'm going to just scale it, gut it, and then I'm going to grill this fish. I try and be healthier, so I ain't frying. I'm going to try my best to grill fish and not fry them no more. Sorry if the camera's shaking too. They don't really have big scales like that. You can even cook them with scales on. That's really it. When you're doing that, make sure to stay away from 
the little spikes they have right here. Cause when it dig you, it hurt really bad. See all that gunk? Then we're gonna just wash it off. Wash off all of that. I don't know about I, but I like a clean workstation. All right. I'm just come here. Cut off this fin right here. Same thing on the next side. Please don't be like me, guys. Practice safety and cut away from yourself. And I didn't leave these fins on because I think they look cool. So that's the only reason why I leave them on because they look cool. Then we're going to gut it. When you're gutting it, you have to try to stay as close as possible as you can to the belly meat so you don't puncture any guts or anything like that. I'll go up to the gills. Make sure you make that cut to the gills up there. Then, I'm going to come in through the gill plate right here. And, oh, you didn't cut it. Yeah, I'll take everything out. All the guts to come out with one pull. Look at that. I ain't even bust the poop string. <laughs> Get that blood to come out in here. It's better when you scrape it with the back of the knife. Break up the bloodline. Get all the blood to come out. I don't know nobody who likes to eat fish that tastes bloody and I don't know nobody like that. If you do though, leave a comment and let me know. Let me know if you like bloody fish. And just cut some slits in it. And look, you already get the three lines. You could just use those lines as a guide. <laughs> One two, three, I'll add our next one, four, one, two, three, oops, four, and then you basically get, you get a fish here, you can fry it up, season it up however you like, but I'm going to grill this one. I know I ain't really see me grill no fish like that, so I'm going to change it up. See one final wash off. And I'm going to clean it with some lime to make it fresh too. I just didn't bring the lime outside with me. So yeah. That's it. Clean. I'm going to give the guts to this mother dog because she just got her puppies. I know she's going to eat it for sure. Look at little puppies. I ain't had no lemons I usually, I mean I had no limes I usually use limes. I don't really care for lemons too much. But I'm going to use this lemon. Rub it, oops, rub it all over the fish. It might taste different with lemon too. Rub it all over the fish. Use some juices on the inside. I know but I but after I do this I like to wash off the fish. That's just me. Okay, so the seasonings I'm gonna be using today is going to be some parsley flakes, some ground cayenne pepper, some sazan, some Goya chicken powder, forget what your name, old bay, garlic powder, and ground black pepper. This is the first thing I'll start with. Put some black pepper on it. Then we take some garlic powder, sprinkle that on it too. Make sure you date in the cuts and in the stomach. Then I'll get some old bay.
we are now going to go to the parsley flakes. I love parsley flakes. Love parsley flakes. Put that on it. Then get some ground cayenne pepper. And get some chicken powder seasoning. Oops, I'm gonna just use my mouth right here. Rub that in good. Then we get the best seasoning you could ever put on any type of food you're cooking. Sazan Goya. If you don't put this on it, it can taste regular. If you put it on it, it can taste amazing. And then that's basically it. Now let's rub everything in. Make sure you get all the cuts. Rub everything in. All on the inside. Look at a properly seasoned fish right there. Properly seasoned. Now we're going to transfer this over to some foil paper. Leave it to marinate for this for not too long, just a couple minutes. Just it to get all up in it. And then I'm going to put it to grill. Here, I just have some some little mini, I got a little mini red pepper, little mini yellow pepper, and some cut up green bell peppers. That's what I'm going to eat with the fish. What I'm going to do is a whole bunch of pepper. I'm going to use some black pepper, sprinkle it on them. I'm going to grill those too. Then I use some adobo. Sprinkle that on it. Cayenne pepper. Till I use a whole bunch of peppers in. Cayenne pepper. And then crush red peppers. Close this up too. Whole bunch of peppers. We're gonna eat that with the fish. All right, guys. So this we're gonna be grilling it on my same little one burner, and then the grill uh, Coleman stove. Let me turn on the gas. So, yeah. This is supposed to be non-stick, so I'll just drop the fish on it and lay heat up for a little while. Why getting hot? So I may need to get some butter. I'm gonna spray some butter on it. Then now we're gonna drop on the fish. This is the moment of truth. I'm gonna drop on this fish now. I gonna gotta clean this grill. Good. If I tell her I know how long I'm going to keep that on that side, I would be lying. I know I'm going to just wash and see until it, until it looks like it's done cooked. I have these peppers right here. I don't know about I, but I really like peppers. Never used to like them when I was younger, but I like them. Spray some butter on it. Shake it up good. Press it down right there. Oh man, I rip it. Yep, and then I want to try when I flip in it. Move around the peppers them a little bit. Alright, I'm going to flip the fish now. Mm. 
Game docks, I gotta turn on the flashlight. But look at that. Oh my gosh. I forget to film when I take off the fish, but just add the peppers on top. You know, he's a beast when you drop no pepper through the grill plate. Oh, yeah. Alright, guys, so I'm about to try it. Oops. Let me see. Don't use my fingers, because why not? Look at this. Mm hmm Oh yeah. This red pepper. The pepper is so sweet. Everybody should try this at home. It's a real nice recipe. It tastes really good. I'm not going to even like. The only thing is, I might have put a little bit of, um, too much cayenne pepper. So it's a little spicy, but other than that, I mean, if you like spicy food, you like it. Other than that, it tastes real good though. I don't really grill fish like that, but I'm going to start doing it. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.